the weight of the computer and, and the, uh, the frame. So it's perfectly balanced. Yeah, very simple. Um, and it comes down like that. It's your idea, own idea. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And how, well, this, and I, how the chair is moving? Now, just to finish, I have a bed like this. The oh, same yeah. principle, and you find that in Paris because there is so little space. Loggia. You've heard of Loggia. You see the advertisements in the metro where people have very small apartments. The bed goes up, and my one broke. I had to open it. I saw all the big, heavy bricks that counterbalance. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Now, the chair, this is new. Before we had stools. You can see the little stools there. You can see the stool over there. Um, and now we have this system, which is also quite simple. Um, well, it's quite simple. You can, you can photograph that there. This is new, and we're still working on it. This is um, not as strong as it should be, but uh, it goes this way and this way. And I will probably be getting some elastic yeah, to, to automatically bring it back in, because otherwise people leave it out. Yeah. yeah. And another thing, of course, is people look at the screen and then they go away from the screen. They don't take it back to the home page. And we tried to get a program to bring it back automatically, but it was too complicated. So at this stage, we just hope that people understand. They have the, here, they have the... Um, instructions? Well, instructions. It's fairly intuitive. People should know that's home page. But we've explained uh, those are the different languages, the home page. Go back, eat, back to the main page, backwards, details, uh, videos, soundtrack. And, um, and text, yeah, yeah. That's a sort of logical, fairly logical. Uh, yeah, it's simpler than telephone. Yeah. Hmm? It's simpler than a, than a telephone. Um, the, yeah. Okay, so um, that's how it works, and then we usually show them here. For example, there's a video. Okay, that's a video, and they use their headphones that they get. And they plug in to these. And these, we can have five people, up to five people at any time, listening on that. That's quite cheap. I don't know, they were maybe seven euros or something. It's relatively cheap. And uh, simply attached to the computer, which is at the back here. It's a small computer. We have larger computers and smaller ones, depending on the space available. OK. So that's that one there, definitions. This particular one here, you may or may not have seen that uh, the, the international alphabet, uh, the international phonetic alphabet, and we have organized for an electronician, an uh, electronics person, to connect these. Na. So we can see where the N is made. N, 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 N. It's nasal, so you can Na. hear the N, and you can see where it's made. P is made in the lip. So, uh, uh, p, 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 voila, that's it. We even have the click languages, uh, uh, like that, the clicks, they, they use that in the south of Africa. Kalahari, Bushmen, they speak with the clicks. So, that's quite fun, and we, when, when we have uh, school groups here, we have school groups who come in, uh, and we use, we use that, and we show them certain things there. Um, all of these screens, people use headphones, but when the school groups come, we plug in a loudspeaker. And we have, normally we split, because we have so little space, we split the classes into two groups. 25 children, we have 12 of them downstairs with a questionnaire and these, these little boards to write on. And the other half here with the chairs that are in the cupboard, have 20, uh, we have 25 chairs. We take maybe 12, 13. And then Emily or myself, we give them a one-hour workshop talking about this, talking about various things, the phono quiz. And then after the first hour, they swap over. So we often have school groups. Is there a school group this afternoon, Emily? Yeah, we have a school group this afternoon. Yeah. It's a private institution. Private institution. Where did you get this idea from? You. This idea? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, yeah, the um, content inside the screens was done by uh, Ilona, a, a linguist that was employed by me until I ran out of money to pay her. Uh, she left last year. I couldn't pay her her salary anymore. But she spent about four years creating all the material, taking that huge body of information, making it small and easy to understand. That's the, the way we've done it with simple language, videos, and examples. My role here, my role was how to spread it out, how to present it, that, you know, the, the museography, the scenography of it all. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. So, after that, um, we'll just move on here now. We have uh, a few games, a few bits and pieces there. Here we have sounds of language, so there's many different things. This is one of the screens where we can plug in and we have the loudspeaker. For example, there's a lot of subjects here, so it takes time. For example, the clicks. Um, and I think if you listen, you should hear. Here's the video. There's a click. Another click. And here the click. We have here also the whistled language uh, in the Canary Islands. There's an example. It's quite loud. And they're saying all these words here. It's a language. It's a language. It's a language in the Canary Islands, in the island of Gomera. There's lots of mountain, very big valleys, and they communicate across the valleys with the whistling. They're saying all but of this. This is a chirping of the bars. Well, right? yes, yes, bars. but this is a language. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. And we show them, for example, the Chinese tones, the tonal languages. What's interesting? Mama, 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 sound in the world. Oh, well, the. Mama, mama, mama. Uh, mama, mama, mama. Yeah, I think in Chinese they have four different tones. I think Vietnamese is five. I'm not. Six. Is it six? six. Yeah. Six. Are you a Vietnamese yes. extract? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. So, um, you know, ma, ma, ma. And then we show them that, uh, for example, here, tonal languages are about half of the languages in the world. I don't think Bengali is tonal, is it? No. 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 Where the, where the tone of the actual word changes the meaning. But about 3,000 languages, and we've shown that on these little, the red. The pink spots, and of course in Africa we have the these little brown spots here for the um, click languages. So that's uh, that's one of the things we play to the students. The other one that we usually connect up, and this is one that people spend a lot of time on, is the phono quiz here. Uh, people love this one. Uh, quiz four different ones in the English version. Which international language, which commonwealth language, which English accent, and which foreign English, uh, foreign accent in English. And here, this is a star. So we'll take the star. What language do you think it was? Oh, yes. No, this has no Bengali. This is we we chose those a little bit randomly. That in fact is Thai, and so and then we go Thai, H. Can you see H number one, number two? Can I see that this is a to free like? Is it that the clothes are made out? The pieces are made in a specific technique. The parts are made out of the clothes of the world, but we can't see all of them. Yes, yes. That's Greek. Greek. So number two is Greek. And they have the answers here. Number two, D. So we hide that for the time being. So it's just a, a funny way of doing it. Instead of having the answers on the screen, they have it out here. It's a sort of touch. My whole idea was to make as much as possible three-dimensional, not just computer screens. People can go through here and, and not use the computers. For example, homographs. They can look at this. A homograph uh, in English, um, various thing. Does uh, 
yeah, there's, there's various examples. Gato, uh, Yama, things that were written the same way but different meanings, all sorts of things like that. So that's a lot of fun. There's a collection here of accents. Well, I. She does 25, uh, 21 different accents. In English. In English, yeah. German accent, French accent, uh, Italian accent. This is very, very good. So, okay. Um, this one here, this is, uh, I won't go into all the details because we could be here for hours. And think, I don't know, how much time have we got in total? We have, we have much time, no problem. Plenty you can time. introduce. Okay, well, let me explain. This is just a, a, an unusual way of presenting. What we have on this screen over there is the non-verbals. Non-verbal la non language, which is very important. Um, and... Uh, non please. Non no, well, the classic, gesture. the classic example is body language, and over here we have um, face. Face is very important, of course. Hands, very important, and posture. Sign. But also, other partners, partners of speech, could be images. If I say that kiwis are great, okay? If I have that photo, then I'm talking about the fruit, particularly because in French they say kiwi, not kiwi fruit. If I have that photo, then I'm talking about the New Zealanders. Yeah. Kiwis are great. And if I have that photo, kiwis are great, it's the bird. So it's words plus image equals meaning. Over here, words plus context equals meaning. If I say uh, the light is red, here, I step on the brakes. Mm -hmm. Stop. If I'm in an art gallery, the light is red, I'm talking about a, a sunrise or sunset. And if I'm up in Amsterdam, and I say that the light is red, that means something else again. It means the prostitute is available or not available or whatever. So it's the context plus the words that give the meaning. So this was just a sort of uh, a way of showing it. I adapted my ideas to the space that I had available here. I had this pillar. What can we do with this pillar? And because we built this screen here, we didn't really have space for a pallet, so we put the, the things there. I used what was available. Um, in, in many places, I used what was available. For example, when I bought the stools, these stools came, this wood here came from Ikea. Have you heard of Ikea? Ikea is a very big furniture shop. And they came with four solid wooden legs. Okay? Uh, I wanted something that folded up because the four wooden legs didn't fold up. The four wooden legs, one? that was the leg there. Can you see that? So, I bought another system of legs from another I know, I know. Uh, it's, horrible it's a plastic right top. I wanted the nice wood. And I had all these legs that were left over. So I've used them. I've used everywhere where possible. I've used uh, the resources. This is just the approach that I had. Limited finance, using the resources I had. And people seem to quite appreciate that. They, they find it different, unusual. Yeah. So, uh, over here we have... Um, meaning, and I've shocked people a little bit. I put these chairs in the in the in, uh, in the roof. Why? Because here I have a unit, a little bit of information about what we call a uh, analysis of sems. The sem is the tiniest semantic sem, tiniest unit of meaning. So here we have a table uh, with with um, eight different words for sitting. Uh, chair, seat, armchair, bench, pew, deck chair, stool, folding chair. And then we have the little characteristics. Because in Bangla there is mora. Mora. There's something else. Very word mora, yes. Yes? You can sit on that. Okay. Yeah, it's mora. Right. And does it have arms? No. No. So we, here we have all the different characteristics. So if we put the mora, it would have a cross because it doesn't have arms. We've got with arms, without arms. For the church, 
for relaxing, for the exterior, for interior, all these little units of, of um, meaning, this is an analysis of the sense. And that's when, why I put this to when, illustrate that. When there is an, then it calls chair. When there is no an, then it's called mora. Okay, well, well you, you would obviously do your own way there. I'm just explaining we've got a unit of information and then I've tried to illustrate it yeah. there, you see. Um, we've obviously got lots of information inside the screens there. You know, we have uh, all these different subjects, slicing up reality, concrete and abstract. That's quite fun. We have here the concrete and abstract. I put this here on the um, these hangers. I've got uh, 15 words. Dispute. And what's this one? Whip. And so people who want to play this, they can decide which one is more concrete, which one is more abstract. It's, uh, it's for people to play with. They can chop and change and, and do as they please with that. It's just to show that it's subjective. There is no real answer. We have a lot of games here. For example, there's a game connected here with this uh, screen. This screen here, screen, the window, deals with brand names that became words. And then I've created a wee game. We've actually got a book, a little book that we're developing. We haven't printed it yet, of, of 30 different games that people can play here. So if I show, if I show you this, what is the brand name? Gramophone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. This one? Vespa. Vespa, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, Vespa. Uh, that way around. That one there. Brand name. Jeep. Yeah. Now, it, this may be a Toyota or it might be a whatever it is, but we all call it a Jeep, which was, in fact, a brand name. This one's another one there. You uh, can't see it very well, these little plastic, yeah. um, plastic, uh, Tupperware. Tupperware, you may not have seen Tupperware in Bangladesh, but uh, anyway, the very classic one, of course, is the... Bush. Hmm? Bush. 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 Frigidaire. 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 Uh, Hoover. I put a, a, an Electrolux up there, is but the word is Hoover. Is this archive system? Hmm? You mean uh, archive? Archive? Archive. Now this is just examples. Example. Examples of uh, objects that whose brand name became a word. Tipex. Tipex. Uh, Biro. Biro was a brand name, wasn't a person. Bic. Bic is definitely a brand name which became a word. So that's just um, kind of fun, really. These back in there, one of the games that people can play. So, up there, and uh, pop that there. Now, uh, this one here is quite an important or big uh, screen, big alcove, all these subjects. There's the, the different um, uh, professions uh, trans interpreter, dictionary makers, uh, translators various other subjects, and quite a lot around, like the old dictionary. This is an old dictionary from 1594, very old dictionary. One of the first mass-produced dictionaries from an antique shop. I, I, I went and bought that on the internet. I had a look and found a... Uh, found a uh, yes, I did a lot of things on the internet. A lot of information came... The color of the face. The color of the face seems to be older. The color of the face. Yeah, it seems... Order. Order. It's Order. very old. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's How did you collect it? How did you collect I bought it, it from an it antique shop. Oh. Antique bookshop. Yeah. It was 300 euros. Yeah. Plus. Bought it. It's not actually very expensive for what it is. I'm not sure why that's in there. Yeah. So there we have uh, maps, language maps. We have this is, we've taken this off the internet mostly, but. Uh, um, these are maps, link, uh, lexical maps, different words, uh, the way things are pronounced in different words. Here in France is the map that we say um, for the chocolate, uh, little croissant chocolate thing, they say pan au chocolat, but in the southwest they say chocolatine. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, even if they would say it's different. Uh, 
This here, little game to find the spelling mistakes in this text. The answers are on the back. Okay, so, um, yeah, lots of fun. This here is a little translation. It's an article about me, as the founder. And then I copied and pasted it in Google Translation into Spanish, then into French, following the alphabetical order of our six languages. Mandarin, Russian, Arabic, and back into English, and it's all mixed up. Uh, you can read it. All Oromland Mundo Lingua, founder and Kiwi New Zealand. He came to Paris in 1994. The language was the language of passion and Naukoi Medieno. Don't know what Naukoi Medieno is. Probably come from Russian, I think. Uh, learning has spent the past 15 years. New Zealand travel agents, and it's, it's still mixed up. And this shows that we still need translators. Uh, yeah, so. And this is quite fun. Uh, it's a sign that was in Australia, on the East Coast. They have these very dangerous um, medusa. What do we call these? Uh, stingers, stingrays. Uh, they, they kill people. And it says, uh, marine stingers, of course, are known to be present in this area. And the translation in French is gifts. It's, uh, it's, uh, this was a real sign out there. Anyway, that's not, it's not very important, but it's just quite funny. So well, that's words. And of course, afterwards, we move into the grammar section. And uh, uh, yeah, um, this is the way that uh, Chomsky in the United States broke up the sentences. Uh, we have the phrase or the sentence, uh, the discovery of the Far East led the missionaries to discover or to learn new languages. I've got this in French. And English. We'll go over okay. there and take yeah. some pictures. And, uh, All the alphabets. We have the books. sentence broken okay. down into From the, the front noun side. group, group nominal, and the verb. Group. Go over there, please. And then the article and the noun group, the common noun, the discovery, with the prep of, of the preposition group, with the preposition and a noun group, and an article, the, the actual noun, the adjective. So it's breaking the sentence down. There's the verb group with the, the verb, led. And then it's just one way that it was broken down. In the, in the 1980s, Chomsky um, brought this out. Another way of looking at the sentence, we have this here. We have a, a sentence, the nice postman bit the neighbor's dog. Now, if you have a look here, this is the French. Mm. Le, the, which is the determinant, the article, the. But it's also masculine. We have a sign there of gender. And it's singular, we have the number. But if you look at the English there, it's just the. The is not masculine, and it's not singular or plural. It's always the same. If you look at the verb, bit, in English, the conjugated verb with a marker of time. If you look at the French, they say a mordu. That's the way they say it, a mordu. And a is a conjugated verb, but it also shows the time. And it shows the uh, number. It's the third person. He, or she, or it, not I or you. And then they have that mordu, non-conjugated verb, with a marker of time. So we do it in English like this. They do it very differently in French. If you look at Chinese here, every single element has a word. For example, the past is quite separate from the verb. They have a little word in their sentence that says this sentence is in the past or this sentence is in the future i don't know if it's like that in the in the vietnamese or possibly the same yeah 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 is that your language also vietnamese so, I, I i'm from dhaka also from dhaka bangladesh bangladesh yeah yes, sorry yes, yeah. we I came together sure. yeah. yes but i'm buddhist so my face is like them yeah so <laughs> your first language is Chakma. Satma. Chakma. Chakma, yes. Chakma. Yes. Okay. We are the minority and yep. Buddhist in Bangladesh. Mm. Though Bangladesh is an Islamic country, but right. we have good, good friends if we, yeah. with them. Yeah, so that's not a dialect, it's a separate language. Yes. Mm. Yeah. We'll have a look downstairs if it's on our language tree. Yes. Is it a... Um, Bengali is an Indo-European language, yeah. but yours is not, is it? 
Which one? Is it an Indo-European language? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Our language uh, has some equivalent to the Vietnam, Vietnam Chinese, yeah. and Myanmar, Burmese. So we'll also have a look together. on the tree downstairs, the Sino, yes. Sino language, yes. Sino yes. language tree. This, uh, we have some equivalent up okay. with them. Yeah. Yes. Super. Okay, so over here, this is more information about uh, grammar, various subjects in there. Okay, uh, we talk about adverbs, we talk about um, uh, noun classes. In English, we only have one noun class, they're all just nouns. In French, they have two masculine, feminine. In German, they have three, masculine, feminine, and neuter, neutral. And in Swahili, they have 18. We have four. You have four? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. They are as common, well. feminine, neuter, and, and common. 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 Yeah. What does common mean? Uh, what is common mean? All of us. All of us. All of us. Boy or girl? Okay, so it common. can be both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in, this common in, in English, masculine boy. means boy, feminine means girls, student means common, neuter means uh, that is chair, table, these are called neuter. Okay, okay. Well, masculine, well, feminine. Well, you need to have 18 different classes with singular pronoun, uh, persons, plural people, singular plants, plural plants, singular um, fruits. So they have all these different ca classes, categories, and there are specific characteristics that go with each class of, uh, of nouns. Yeah. Okay, now in the back here we have the learning section. You said. So Stephanie over here is a uh, intern studying uh, cultural... In Cultural mediation, I think something like that. Come on through. So it's a small area, small step there. Um, library. Hmm? This is a fun area of library. Well, there is a small library here. We have a small collection of books. Mm -hmm. um, it's the learning section. So uh, this one is uh, learning your own language. For example, bilingualism. Uh, bilingualism. How children learn, and also wild children. And they have um, no contact, no contact with people, and they don't learn how to speak or interact. This screen over here deals with problems in the brain. For example, George the Sixth, who stuttered, do you remember his King's speech? Um, and uh, generally, hmm? yeah, we have the movie in our little cinema. We have a micro cinema, and I'll show you. That film. We also have a film about Victor d'Aveyron. Victor d'Aveyron was a very famous case of a wild child that they found in the forest who couldn't speak. He was about 12. And François Truffaut made a very famous film about that. You know of that. Yeah. 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 And we have that also in our micro cinema. Coming back to problems in the brain, we have three types of language problems. Problems from birth, when you have a, a defect of some sort or a problem. Problems from an accident, like a car accident, and then also problems from, a, for example, a stroke uh, uh, during a you know, natural natural problem. Um, in no. really sorry, Mark, quick yes. question. Um, the group this afternoon yes. can they come an hour early to sure. enter the museum? Yes, we yes, managed that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Sure no, here. it's up here. Okay. It's up here. Okay. Yeah. What time will we be coming? Uh, one. one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, and um, over here, we have Language Lab. This is how I learned French in New Zealand. There are 30 different, uh, 30 different um, uh, cabins there. And that's a lot of fun, you know, to, uh, to learn it in a class like that with a teacher who's listening to each person, language laboratory. So I wanted to reproduce that here. I found this in Bordeaux and went and got this. Uh, and on this screen here, you can listen to 1,700 different languages. 1,700? Yes, really? apparently, yes, 1,700. So what's the name? Amazing. We'll see if your language is here. I'll just have a quick look. Um, History of Chakma. 
In fact, now we're My going to Chakma. into here. This looks like it's India. And Bangladesh must be just next mm. door, somewhere in that area. And we'll see if we have that. They are also called ethnic community, you see. Uh, might not have the ethnic community. Yeah, no, we're in the. I've I've clicked in the wrong place. Sorry. Not very. Maybe one you can you can include my language also. I, I want to help Myanmar. you. Myanmar, 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 Bangladesh, Chakma. Yes. There it is. Chakma, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. So if you want to listen to Chakma, you just plug in here. Yes. And we will have a a text. There's two different check texts there. Yes. And if you want, I can help you. Well, it's there. We've, uh, you can listen to some chakma. Uh, it's already in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can listen to it. But uh, yeah, so that's fun. Um, and uh, have we got Bangla? Bangla. 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 I can let me see. Um, Bangla. 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 Doesn't seem to say Bengali. There's Bengali yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Bengali. Yeah. yeah. Riyang, Mizo, Kur, Garo. Yeah. Darlong, yeah, yeah. Chin. 1700. So, Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, interestingly, this uh, collection of languages was given to us by a religious organization. Okay. So, the text that they have there is part of the Bible. I'm not so happy about that, but of course, uh, uh, it shows the importance of religion. Religion has been a very strong motivation to translate, to transcribe, write down the languages. Mm -hmm. However, I did also find 93 recordings of the most common languages of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. So I've added that as well, so that people who recognize things, they will hear that also rather than the Bible. Um, Just a second, can you listen what Bengali version has been given here? The Bengali, what, uh, yeah. it, it, as I said, it's Bible. I'll get you a... Um, Bengali, let us see. Let us see what dialogue and what. Ekhane boshe boshe jo tagulo jati san bande se research kore se, asad jona sir, unhe. Hmm. Ye ekhane ta ekok process ta. Ekok process ta, isumus brain cell. Ami to amar naam ta dekhe. So sir, taka pay kulle diye diye. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anybody else? Yeah, five, 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 yeah. five at a time. Oh, and one more. One more. Oh, is it a little bit wound up there, I think. Mm. So if we go. Okay, so. Undone? Yeah. That's it. So, okay. let's Bengali. see. This is. Uh, this is Chakma. Yeah. No, let us hear first Bengali. Okay. Then we'll hear Chakma. This is Sakma language is speaking. Ah, here we go. Like more sound. Ah, there's five of you on here. I don't think I can get more. It's too soft. Oh. Can you listen? Stop. Stop. How did Google. you record this language? Thank. This was again, again, Sorry? again. You, you, you have done. Okay, I'll okay. keep the photo. Go over there and take picture also. You'll be modding yeah, a lot today. Mm. Oh, one of the religious <laughs> <laughs> This is the Universal <laughs> Declaration.